I think people are completely right to be nervous around what the consequences of a no deal Brexit would mean and particularly around the backstop on the island of Ireland. Uh, the business community, farmers, pharmaceutical companies, political parties and indeed civic society are all saying that we can't have a hardened border again on the island of Ireland, that that would lead um, to consequences in terms of trade, in terms of our all island economy, in terms of health care, in terms of people that live and work on each side of the border. The Irish Taoiseach uh, last week gave his description of what the border could look like. He talked about armed guards, walls. You know, do you share that description? Can you give us your own uh, description of what it would look like you know, a year or so after a no-deal Brexit? Well, it's hard to tell, but through the engagements here, so just the practicalities of exchanging uh, freight transport in terms of livestock, in terms of food then that's already been killed, having that transfer and across, if there are two different zones working with two different regulations, that has to be checked. And then for that to be checked, then customs officers, if there is an enforcement needed, they can't do that then. And we've seen in the Switzerland case that that often can involve the police or also the army. And which army are you going to bring to a border or hardening of a border in Ireland?